Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in Tennessee with my friend Brian and we've done a ton of adventuring today. Y'all are not gonna believe what we found. Some completely unexpected stuff and some really incredible fossils. So keep watching to see what we found. Let's get to it. What do we have here? Oh, that looks this. like a more bryozoan there. Brian got this piece of what I think is a bryozoan. You can see the little pattern on there. That's kind of cool. Get that out. And then I just found this little gastropod right there which is very cool because I've never found these from the Ordovician before. That is a really cool little fossil. We are on an absolutely gorgeous road cut right here. Look how tall that goes. There's a nice little brachiopod sticking out right there. They're really kind of cool here. That, that's that one there. Oh there's another gastropod. I love the little gastropods. They are so neat. And there's another little brachiopod right there. All right, oh, I got the shadow right there. Another gastropod. Some of these have like a light jeruzzi coating on them, which is really cool. All right, check this out, y'all. This is actually a really cool find right here. That's a piece of a cephalopod that Ryan just found. Cephalopods are of the molluscan class. You get squids, octopus, cuttlefish, things like that. And this is a weird little piece of a cephalopod from the Ordovician. Here's a nice little brachiopod right there. And then Brian was just saying, look at all these guys up here. So let's go check that out. What you got? All this oh, wow. in here. This, I don't know what this is. That looks like a, oh, that's a weird thing. Oh, that's thing. the same thing I found oh, yeah. before. Look, at that. it's got crystal pocket on the inside of it, and then the outside is like the, I think a bryozoan, sort of like coating on whatever the heck that is. Kind of wild. Oh, look, it goes all the way back. Oh yeah, there's crystal pocket all through there. It's a very large brachiopod right there in the rock. He's completely stuck in there, so we're just gonna leave it just like that. But gotta take a look. I also noticed too. Look at this little crystal pocket right here. Nice little crystals. I think there's a little gastropod hiding there. Yep. Oh wow, yeah, look at that. It's got the whole little tip. Check out that little brachiopod. Boop. Oh wow. That's a beautiful little dude. There's a big brachiopod. It's stuck in, oh, I thought it was stuck in the rock, but that one was actually kind of loose. Nice, nice little one. My shadow's getting in the way. I think there's a brachiopod right there. Oh my gosh. It's a big boy. Might have to get that one washed off because it's a little dirty, but I want to see that thing all cleaned up. All right, I got this guy cleaned up. That is a big brachiopod. I love that. A little brachiopod hiding down there. Oh wow. That's a very, very nice one. Not huge, but beautiful. Oh, what the heck? Brian's got a handful of these strange crystal formations right there. This one's wild. I don't even actually know what this these are. It's like a druzy kind of look to it there. And look at this brachiopod he's got in that rock. That stuff's cool. It's hard too. It looks maybe calcite? There's a nice brachiopod in the rock right there. Those are always very fun. Really cool little display pieces. Dude, do y'all see the color of that beetle? Oh, is he like blue? He's blue-green. That thing is bright. Is he iridescent? Yeah, it's like an iridescent. Do you oh, know what it nice. is, Brian? You know what type he is? Um, he's type A. Type A. He likes to get his work done. He likes to get his work done, okay. Is he a Gemini? <laughs> That's really cool. This is really neat right here. So remember those little crystal growths that Brian had? There's one there in this little cavity and it's completely stuck in there so we're not gonna pull it out. But that's really cool to see it right in the rock where it comes from. And then right below that, I think I got another gastropod like guy up right there, but it's broken. Still really cool though. That looks like pretty nice. Whoop. Oh man, both sides. Can't go wrong with that. How about that big brachiopod right? Hoo boy. Big old brachiopod. Man, 
All right, y'all, you know how it is when I start filming these videos. You're just going to have to count how many times they say brachiopod. Put it in the comments below, because we all know it's going to be a lot. <laughs> Look how convenient this is to use the dripping water from the rocks to clean my fossils as I find them. And I just found this nice-sized brachiopod there. And it looks like there's a bunch of other ones kind of hiding out. That one's in rock still, which is pretty cool. And there's some kind of hiding over here, too. Little brachiopod there. That one's in rock. Really a lot right on this little layer. Very, very nice brachiopod right there. The preservation is insane. You can probably hear a lot of cars behind me right now. Sorry about the sound, but such is the way of road cut hunting. Y'all, look at the size of this brachiopod that Brian just found. Dude, that thing is big. Yeah, get that thing a little prepped out. That's going to look great. Ah, my shadow's kind of hiding it. There's a brachiopod right there. It's a little muddy. That'll look great cleaned up. Brian and I are kind of killing it right here. There is a lot of them in this little section. Whereas I just saw a kind of more sizable one I thought up in a rock. There's like half of one right there that would have been pretty large. What was that one I saw on a rock? That's part of a big one right there. Oh, yep, it's like half of a big one right there. There's a nice one in the rock there. Check this out, y'all. This is kind of cool. There is a brachiopod right there. But if you look real close, look at that. It's broken. And it's like a geode on the inside. There are crystals in it. But it's a brachiopod. It's like a smiley face. That is so cool. Never seen something quite like that. Got a kid in a candy store right here. Brachiopod. Brachiopod broken. Brachiopod. Brachiopod broken there too. Um, everywhere. It's a cool brachiopod right here. I just had to wash it off a little bit. Right there, it's actually a little bit crystal filled, just more solid, not like a geo. But that's really cool to see these fossils filled with crystals. I was just able to pop this little guy out with a pocket knife. That's a nice, chunky brachiopod right there. Something that completely blows my mind about road cut hunting is that we're literally in the middle of the mountains in Tennessee on this cliffside finding fossils from the ocean that are over 400 million years old. Literally smack dab in the middle of the country. That is absolutely insane. And look at the size of this road cut. Whoa! Absolutely incredibly humbling to think of the age of this stuff. Kind of a cool piece right there. Just two dudes hanging out. They're like buddies. You can see some of these guys right there. Look at that. Big old brachiopod stuck in the rock. Thought I saw something sticking out down there. That looks pretty right there. Who's that hiding now? Oh, oh, it broke in half when I grabbed it. Survived for 400 million years until a wild cow came along. Too bad. <laughs> so we got a little uh, brachiopod grave site right here. Oh man, that one's cool. I like that. Oh, oh yeah, look at that little guy. Whoa. It's got crystals on the inside of it a little bit. And, uh, this one hiding out down there. Oh yeah. Well preserved, really well preserved. Nice little, oh, there's one right there, just kind of half of one. Very interesting. They're just kind of coming out of this little layer. Is that one down there? No, it's not a complete one. Huh. Look at all of them in there, though. Just caked in, man. Really, really rich fossil sediment. Check out the crystal growth right here in that. And the other side of it is a couple brachiopods stuck together. That'll look cool cleaned up. Brachiopod right there. Yeah, really nice condition other than that one side's a little busted. Brian's got a big one right there. Look at that. That's cool. a Oh nice man, look at that. Yeah, look at that layer is just completely loaded. There's one right there that's kind of twisted up and broken. 
That one too, but it's got... Ah, I just dropped one. Oh no. <laughs> There's a nice rocky pod right there. And, oh, that one's broken on the other side, but look at the preservation on that side of it. I like this guy though. I love them when they're sitting like that, waiting to be picked up. Nice one. Y'all got to take a look at this gastropod that Brian just found. That is beautiful. I love how similar these look to just like a modern gastropod, but 400 million years old. Look at this chunky one down there. I wonder if it has both sides. Yeah, it does. Jeez. That is a huge brachiopod. That's the biggest one I found today. That is incredible. Nice little gastropod dude. Oh yeah. That's a cool one right there. I love those things. Y'all look at this brachiopod right there. With crystals popping out of it. That is a, a awesome fossil. Wow, I'm absolutely in love with that. There's a little gastropod in the rock right there. Very cool little guy. Okay, now we are about to check out an absolutely beautiful looking creek that's right over there that I'm about to show you all that Brian has taken us to. And we're just going to see what we can find. We actually are not even entirely sure what could be here, but we're just going to have an adventure and see what's there. So let's get to it. Would you all just take a look at that? That is so incredibly beautiful. And that is literally all rocks. And we are going to find out what is in those rocks today. That is beautiful. We're hugging this bank right here. Really interesting rocks we're standing on and beautiful, beautiful water right there. Oh, we're cruising around through the woods up here trying to find a way down there. That little shallow spot was actually slick and not, we didn't really have a way to, to go through that, uh, that little side. So we've been trying to find a way down, but it's really steep. So we're going back the other way now to see what we can get into see if we can get down there all right I think we finally found a way down it's still steep but it's uh, much better than what it could be so I'm gonna keep you all on the camera and you can watch me slide down and hopefully not destroy myself easy enough yeah right here looks easy man look at all those rocks okay I'm gonna slide down right here now let's go oh yeah we got it now it's time to see what's in these rocks. It's gonna be really tough to see on the camera, y'all. This rock has a little bit of a little crinoid bit right there. A bunch of other little fossil inclusions. So that's pretty interesting. So there's some fossil material here. We're thinking possible arrowheads in this stuff too. I mean, look at all this. It's uh Brian said check this out and see what he got. She got. It's just glimmering in the. Oh, what in the world is that? Sun. How is it that color? What is that? Oh. At first, I was like, kind of looks like labradorite. That's beautiful. Why is it so blue? Is that natural? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> well. Look at the color on this, y'all. If you can see that, I had to pick this up. So that color, turns out it's actually slag, similar to what you find in Leland in Michigan, the slag glass from iron ore operations. It's like a byproduct of that. That's very interesting to see that here. I wonder if along the river somewhere there was a, there was a iron ore operation going on. Because that's 100% what that is. Look at this, y'all. This is completely unexpected. Look at that slag. That blue is gorgeous. Oh, wow. I like that. That's exciting. Look at this other piece right here. Dude, this stuff is prettier than the stuff I found in Leland. Ugh. Yeah, wow, look how blue that is. Wow. That's stunning. I uh, Oh, wow, look at that. I love that, y'all. I like, I like finding that stuff. That was unexpected. That's what's fun about checking out new spots. You never know what you're going to find. And there's beautiful blue slag glass. Hey y'all, it's super bright. 
Uh, this stuff that we're finding is really cool. I found a lot of stuff similar to this in Michigan. This is slag glass, typically from iron ore smelting operations back in the late 1800s. And there's probably one along this creek somewhere that they dumped the byproduct in, which is the slag glass into the creek. And it's been rolling around and turning these beautiful little stones. I'm gonna stop looking at the sun now, but I wanted to explain it. Let's keep looking. Look at that blue sticking out of there. Bam, blue slag. Saw another piece right here. Bam. Oh, that color is insane. Brian, where's that piece you just picked up? That thing was cool. It is. Dude, oh, wow, that is a deep blue. Well, let me hold it this way in the light so you can see it better. Oh my gosh. That is wild. There's a tiny bit of blue poking out right there. Yep. Wow, look at that. That's awesome. I am in blue slag glass mode now. That's what my eyes are trained for. Jesus. Y'all. Are you kidding me? That is crazy. Oh my God. Brian found that monster beautiful piece. Look at that thing. The lines on that are absolutely insane. Dang, man, that is so crazy. There's one of them beautiful blue boys right there. You can see it's covered in algae, but you rub it off and holy crap. What? That is Dude. insane. <laughs> Look at the whole thing. Oh, I love this stuff, man. Oh, man. That is so beautiful. Wow. Look at that. I hear Brian going, ooh, which means I'm going to walk over here and see what he's, he's going to do it. Is he going to flood his boots? I think I'm about to flood my boots. I'm about to just go all in. Oh, wow. Look how blue that, oh, that's like a teal. That's really pretty. Not bad at all. Brian says this one looks like a planet, and I think he's correct. Look, it looks like a dang galaxy running around in there. What's the other side look like? Not as pre pleasant, but still. And I just picked up this little dude. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. Some of the little ones are really neat. Another one at my feet here. You got another? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. It looks like turquoise. Almost. Turquoise blue color. Another beauty that Brian found. Wow. That is stunning. These things stick out like a sore thumb. Dude. That color is completely unreal. And like the lines, it looks like banding. I am in love with this stuff. Here we go. A little fast water, but Brian saw a beautiful blue color. Oh yeah! Wow! Look at the lines on it. Blue. Dang! Pretty sweet. That's killer. I bet there's. I bet they're all over all that too. Wow! I see one. You see one way over there? Right there. Oh, I see it. <laughs> Should I do it? Yep. <laughs> I think we can make it across this. Oh, I'm, I might flood my boots here. Oh. <laughs> Oh, we got this, we can do this. Oh, yep, it's shallow enough right there. Awesome, look at it right there. So out. obvious, the way they stick out. It's a light colored one. Oh, still really still, pretty. Still kinda cool. That's awesome. Dang, yep, they're gonna be all over this dry stuff, I think, too. Maybe a little harder to spot up there, but they're gonna be here. Walking a lot of this dry stuff. Now you can see pieces of that slag. There's kind of a green looking one right there. There's more green looking right there too. Very cool. Look at that. Even up here in the dry stuff, those blue pieces stick out like a sore thumb. Wow. Ooh. Ooh yeah, look at the lines right there. Gorgeous piece. There's another blue. Wow. I like finding them up in the dry too. I got a blue one, I think. Yeah, oh wow. Yeah, that one. 
That one's really pretty. Here's a tiny one. A little tiny one. Ryan got one too. Ooh, ooh wow. Kind of weird looking. I like that. Hey, this little guy I just picked up. Yeah, that's neat. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, it's another one right there. Little baby. Little baby one. Where'd it go? <laughs> oh, like wow. That little bigger. That's Look at the color, though. Man. Cool. There's a pretty blue guy right there. Oh my gosh. That one is really insane. <laughs> Look at that thing. Ooh. Whoa. It's like cosmic. Dude, that's so it's cool. It's like a space rock. <laughs> it's nice. It's got like a squirrel pattern in it. Oh my gosh. Look at that one. Oh, yeah. Dang. Look at that. Oh, that is pretty. Nice, man. And right there. That's a nice size little one. Pretty. Yeah, I like that. Tiny. Oh. Teeny tiny, or is it turning into a bigger one? No, or did it go away? It went away. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. It's gone. Down the river. I love walking right through here, y'all. You can probably see all the rocks in the bottom. And the sound of the water is incredibly nice. Tell me if you see anything down there that I miss, and I can feel bad about it later. It'll be great. Uh, look at that bright blue. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. That's got some dark blue on it. Let's get a little closer on there. Wow. So beautiful. All right, Brian said he's got one that looks pretty. Oh, I can tell. Oh my God. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah, that's a great one right there. Look at that color. Dang. All right, everybody. I see one and I hope it's beautiful because I'm committing. But there she goes. Yep, and in the water. Oh, that's cold. Let's just see if it was worth it. Oh, yeah, it was worth it. That's nice. <laughs> this one's kind of different. That's cool. Different color. It's still blue, but real spacey, cosmic looking. Okay, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad about this. This feels pretty nice. It's warm day. Just a couple little blue ones right there. Very beautiful. How about this little guy? Oh, yeah. Both really pretty little guys. Oh man, y'all see that blue? Oh yeah, wow, that's gorgeous, look at that. That is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, wow. Brian said he wasn't even gonna pick that one up at first because that part wasn't showing. Oh man, that's beautiful, wow. That one's real cosmic. So, oh, that's a nice so one too, really lighter cool. color. Here you go. Who's this blue right there? Oh yeah, that's, oh wow. I found a pretty one. That's pretty. You got a pretty one too? Yeah. I got one right here I gotta pick up real quick and I'm gonna come see yours. Oh, this one looks crazy. Oh wow, whoa, <laughs> dang. Okay, this is really crazy. Let's see what Brian got. Oh yeah, yeah. You can tell that one's real pretty. Oh, it feels oh. really rough, but... Ooh. Oh, oh wow. It's kind of neat, though. That is cool. Dude, look at this. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Man, that is the mother load today. So the far. mother load. The mother load. There's a blue popping out right there. Oh, yeah. I like that one. That's really nice blue color. Nice light blue. Awesome. There's another blue. Whoa. This thing is crazy. Oh, and Brian has committed to the water. <laughs> Look at this one. A little closer. Wow, check that out. I love those swirls. Okay, this one down there looks really good. Let's see. 
What the heck? Dude, that thing's like purple and blue. Wow, check that out. Oh man, that one's gorgeous. Dude. Oh, no way. That thing is crazy. Oh, oh, oh. Are you kidding me? Dude, look at the other uh, side of it. Those what? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. Man. <laughs> hey, look at, wait, you're stepping over one yeah. right there? Uh oh, it's just a kind I, of a, I kind of a flat colored one. Dude. That one looks cool. Yeah. Oh, wow. Dang. Look at that color. That is amazing. That one looks very pretty. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's not focusing. There we go. Look at that. What a color. Dang. That's amazing. Oh, I hear Brian going, ooh. That's amazing. <laughs> See what he got over here. Cosmic, whoa. Kinda, That's cosmic. Kinda. That's cool. Just had to stop for a second and get a close of this whole shot for y'all. It is so stunning right here. Look how beautiful that is. Oh my gosh. Look at that one Brian just picked up. Dude. And right when he picked painting. up that, I was like, what's this guy down here? Oh, uh, that one's really cool too. Oh, I like the colors. Look at the color on that. The other side. The other side oh too. my gosh. <laughs> Let's flip this one over and take a look. Uh, oh wow, that's blue. It's not crazy with the lines, but it is blue as you can get. That's awesome. And what is this? What do we got? Oh, crinoid stem. Crinoid stem. And look at that one right there. Jeez, dude. That's really pretty. Wow. Look at that thing. Let me get a closer look at it. Oh, wow. That is really pretty. There we go. That's a good look at it. Nice. Let's pick this here one up and see. Oh, wow. Yeah, look at that. That is great. I like that a lot. How about that right there? Oh, my God. That one is so nice. Look at that. Grabbing one. I didn't even film this one by how about the hat? That is crazy. Got a blue right there. Gosh. Oh wow. I'm absolutely mesmerized. I can't even speak. Oh, that's oh. Who's that blue right there? God. Oh. That is impressive. That is ridiculously impressive. How about this one right here, y'all? Found that one up in the dry stuff. Didn't look like much. Got it wet. And it's really dang cool. Check out these pieces I just picked up on the dry stuff. Look how glassy that one is. Man, these are beautiful. Look at that big blue chunk right there. Oh my gosh. We gotta go that, get that one wet right now. That thing is going to look ridiculous. We gotta get that completely clean now. All right. Oh, wow. No way. Are you kidding me right now? That's real? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Dude, I'm completely obsessed with that. You've got to be kidding me right now. Hey, y'all. Try a little bit of a different outro here. Enjoy some beautiful slow motion scenery from the creek.
Thanks for watching today's video. I appreciate it very much. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the slag glass was completely unexpected and absolutely beautiful. And I am still so thrilled on it. So if you enjoyed it, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. We'll see you in the next video.